Hi everyone, my name is Abhinav from Migration Centre of Australia. I'm a registered migration agent. We've received quite a few inquiries and we have a lot of questions specifically for the training visa. So today we're going to be running through some of those questions to help clarify some of the doubts that you may have regarding the 407 training visa. And if you have anything else, you can contact us on 02-4626-1002 or head to our website to book in a consultation at a time that suits you best. Hi Abhinav, I've got another question for you from our clients and also from the general public that what is the importance of training plan in the 407 visa grant? I know that you have been leaders in writing the training plans and also delivering training under your sponsorship and you have trained hundreds of occupations across multiple industries across Australia. You have also written thousands of training plans, not only for clients, but also for the clients of hundreds of migration agents. Would you be able to explain in a little bit more depth for better understanding of the clients that what actually is a training plan, how it is prepared, what it does in terms of the success in the grant of visa by the department. So I want to talk about the 407 training plans and the importance of that document for some of the nomination eligibility types within the 407 training visa. Now, this is required for not just one, but other nomination eligibility types, as well as the enhancing skill stream, which is the main stream that most people tend to use. The training plan is a key document to make sure that you meet the eligibility criteria for the nomination application. Without that, it cannot be approved. Now, the training plan is developed in a way which requires an in-depth knowledge of your industry. It should be prepared by people that understand, firstly, not only the immigration aspect, but also what it takes to become skilled in a particular occupation. So we have certified people that are able to develop this training program and work with you and your company or organization where necessary to develop a specific training plan according to the needs of the nominee or the visa applicant. Now, for example, you might be a horse trainer, you might be a physiotherapist, you might already be registered. How can you still develop your skills, right? So we work with you to develop that training plan by assessing your skill gaps. Once we've assessed those skill gaps, we understand what the industry needs, not just according to ANSCO requirements, but according to the industry requirements to develop out a training plan where at the end of that training, you should become skilled in that occupation, right? It needs to be a tailored training program. You have one document that fits all, right? You need to make sure that it's just being designed for you. There's a lot of people in the industry that try to provide this at the moment. We've been industry leaders from pretty much when the training visa started, right? And we've catered to many migration agents along with direct clients to provide them with a successful training plan to help them achieve their outcomes. If you have any questions, you can contact us for more information on 02-4626-1002.